if you don't take that moment in life to close your eyes, to visualize what God can extend to you, you cannot take a leap of faith. What is that unique eye you have to choose that this is the right property? What is in the future? If you are even going to the city hall to check the master plan of the city, it is there. Find out the future is already planned. If the vision of what you're trying to accomplish is not in that part, don't step in that area. I'm trying to uh, demystify part of your thought process, especially in looking at a property that is run down. And uh, I, I think that property is near Mercedes Benz Natick. And you, you were seeing all these other things that not many people were seeing. That property had been on the market for a long time. Like two years. Yes, help me, sir. We want to get into your mind to understand that creative process. Thank you so much. This, which is here, it is a vision. Close your eyes and you visualize. If you don't take that moment in life to close your eyes, to visualize what God can extend to you, you cannot take a leap of faith. Today, my brother Vusi talked about go and make a lot of money in abundance. I believe in abundance. And how I believe in abundance is that abundance does not only start from you earning. It's starting from the actions you take. So if I'm to choose that unique property which you're saying and how I'm looking at it, some of us here, we have different jobs. We can be doctors, we can be nurses, we can be accountants, we can be lawyers. But are you just going to be a lawyer? Like Dimitri said, transaction lawyers. You pile, I close like 10 transactions a year. Every transaction has to be aligned with your mission. Every transaction has to connect with the next transaction. So that goes to the same depth of me, how I look at things and how I do them from the property point of view, which you said. I titulate it and look at it, okay. What are the principles of the right property? What are the principles of making the right choice of what I'm trying to achieve with this? Because they, they, you get so many op opportunities. Like you see when we do such events, I will tell you I receive more than 200 properties in the day. People saying, this one, let us do this one, let us do this one. But what is that unique eye you have to choose that this is the right property? Also again, this, every example I'm going to give you, it was in this room given part of it today. To Costa. If the numbers are not right, they are not right. You cannot just edit them. They are not right. If the location is not right, it's not right. If the vision of what you're trying to accomplish is not in that part, don't step in that area. So many people ask me, why don't you do real estate out of state? Because I've not familiarized myself with that place. Here I bought my foot in the Massachusetts. You ask me who owns this hotel, I will know who owns it. You ask me who owns the next hotel, I will know who owns it. And I will know when they sell this hotel, how does that affect my decision? How does that affect my choice of buying the property next door? The same way when I chose that property, I said, okay, this is Hub Chambers, Mercedes Benz. How long has it been here? Check the database. What is in the future? If you fear even going to the city hall to check the master plan of the city, it is there. Find out the future is already planned. But if people just fear to go check and find out more. So in details, it's like I don't like to see things on the surface. I like to see things in details. And those details make me a clear picture of a proper choice making when I'm choosing something. When I say, this is the right location, because, for example, the part of a, a right property in a right neighborhood, can you say neighbor walking with a dog? If you don't say neighbor walking with a dog, that means it's not going to be safe for you even to take a walk at night, at 10 a.m. Why are you choosing that neighborhood? In your neighborhood, you cannot get Starbucks. You want to 
pick up a craft of Starbucks when you're going to work. Starbucks will not be in a place when they have not invested more than a million dollars in a survey. So they have surveyed and they have mapped. Do you have the resources to map that? You don't. But you just have to have an understanding. What, what does Starbucks look at when they're surveying the place, when they're choosing that I can open up a franchise here, I can do this? Is it aligned with your vision that you want to put things in places where Starbucks is? Panama Bread, is it the same thing? By the time Hub Chambers put a dealership there, he's not going to put a dealership for Mercedes-Benz in some place in Worcester, anywhere. He's going to say, I'm going to put a Mercedes-Benz near Weston because I know someone from an edge fund who buy it easily. That is something they're looking at. That's why he didn't choose to put Toyota there. He would have chosen to put there Toyota. You know why Range Rover is in Sudbury? Because he knows the community of people who are around. That people are already even invested more for you to make the proper choice. But we as human beings, we have this tendency. She's wearing red, but I want to call it pink. That's where the problem starts. So, choose the right color. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much.